Hello again, welcome to me, myself, and I playing The Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth, daily runs, lost run. We start with a thing that can re-roll everything if we want it to. Big fan. And the Holy Mantle. So, we know how lost runs work. By this time, I think everybody is kind of aware how everything works. But, just to recap. Oh, don't forget we have Spectral Tears. Didn't mention that. Probably should have. We go into the mom fight. We will uh, talk about this. We are going to have... Our job is going to be... That's pretty good. Not to die. <laughs> uh, not to get hit twice, basically. Um, Tammy's head is a pretty good way of doing that, because it can clear a lot of weaker enemies from a room reasonably quickly. Obviously, Holy Mantle is your go-to item for the lost. Oh, God. Help. Why? Do not want. Uh, but... Uh, a Steven fight on the first floor is not my favourite. I don't mind the other uh, similar bosses to Steven vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the, the Blighted Ovum and Gemini, but that's because they sort of... I've got a little Steven as well. They... They don't separate like Steven does. And, and that's actually really useful because... The way little Steven chases you around, as the Lost, is very, very intimidating. Uh, to say the least. But the fact that they then explode into a, a halo of, well, a, a, a radial set of bullets is also very double plus one good, really. That's pretty good. Fan of that. We've got a decent amount of offensive potential. Which is, uh, sounds like a great name for, uh, like a, a rock cover band. Got our bomb back from that, so that's okay. The Spirit Heart does give us a few points, but it's it's hardly uh, anything to write home about. We've got Big Fan, which is kind of dangerous because it does give us the the impetus to walk into or at least get very close to enemies and try and do orbital damage, which is <laughs> not a very good idea. Um, but Tammy's head, I don't know if you are aware, does do more damage than your actual tears, and they are slightly larger. So it can actually be pretty good if we can get a key. Thank you. Uh, especially since it's every room. Spider Babby, I think, actually does nothing. I know it's Spider Baby, but when I first started watching people playing The Binding of Isaac before I even got it myself, uh, Northern Lion always said Spider Babby, which is endearing, I suppose, but also infuriatingly catchy. And now it's in my vernacular, it's part of me. I can't change it. Alright. We haven't used um, Tammy's head in this room, and I was going to justify that until I realised why I hadn't used it. Was that all those things were behind rocks. And then I realised, Tammy's head will also inherit the spectral tears that we have normally, so we could have hit everything from behind rocks. There you go, you can have that. Another spirit heart is no use whatsoever, but at least it's a couple of points. A little horn. We did some damage. Um, I wouldn't call it great damage. I wonder if, as the Lost, because we can fly, we're immune to these holes. That would be nice. I'm not immune to these fucking tears that keep flying around the place, though. Big Fan's rotation kind of leaves a lot to be desired. If you happen to be in a situation where Big Fan's rotation matches your position relative to the enemy, you know, you're golden, but... Uh, because it'll stay there for longer, right? This can't do, do us wrong on the uh, HP. Yeah, we'll take this. It's damage. Uh, but then, of course, it's much, like, much less likely to be there. You have to wait for it. So, Big fan, good and bad. It's quite wide as well. So it's an offensive but also very defensive orbital, which is great for the Lost, and we're still going. So I suppose that speaks... That's the sort of a testament to... How good this run's going. That's a lot of money as well. We didn't really have enough on the previous floor. Oh, excuse me. Uh, got a bit of a sniffle. Um, yeah, no, no, don't have any secret rooms there for me at all. That's no problem. I'm fine. Uh, I wasn't really expecting any, so the fact you didn't get me any. It's like a, like when you say you don't really want anything for Christmas or your birthday, but secretly you hope that you will get something. Um, but you have to pretend that you're not upset that they took you at your word. That was kind of dangerous, actually. 
Uh, not not good. not the bit where you don't buy me Christmas presents, but the way that we went into that room and there was an opportunity to take damage, which we could not have come back from. If we'd taken damage inside the curse room, that would have been, you know, that would have been good night, sweetheart, I suppose. The end of the run, because we wouldn't have been able to leave without dying. So maybe we should make sure that we can get out of curse rooms if the worst happens. We haven't actually been hit. We haven't needed to use a uh, holy mantle except on curse rooms so far. So I think that's really positive. It kind of makes me feel like I'm playing okay. The lack of keys is making me take deep breaths to calm myself and not yell at the game. I'm not really not yelling at the How is that not a secret room, by the way? I'm not really not yelling at the game, but you have to admit, it's a little bit, you know... Oh, that's my first hit of the day. Oh, no, thank you. It's a little bit suspicious. I was going to say suspect, and then I realised how bad that grammar was, so I uh, immediately arrested myself and said a weird thing that wasn't really a word instead. Bonies can be a pain, but the trick is just to keep moving in the direction you are moving and don't try and dodge the shot. Ooh. Golden bombs does help. Spirit hearts don't help, but golden bomb does. So there could be a secret room here that allows access to the shop. I'm going to try it on a side that I'm more confident with. No. So I think we go to the shop because we have a lot of money. And there is a key, which is what I was hoping for. Not too interested in Nightlight. I think it's a great idea for an item. It's a pretty good item just in general. Uh, I'm not going to take this either. We have got a two of spades as well, by the way. So I shouldn't be too salty about keys. In fact, that means I'm going to come in here and do this. Um, Nightlight's a kind of a nice idea. And if you, you know, if you find it... It's pretty good, you can take it then, but I wouldn't pay for it. And the reason is that you have to control it, and it's sort of a separate control to... Oh, shit, help. It's a separate control from... Oh! I have to give mad props just now to uh, Big Fan there for rescuing me from those terrible dodges and nearly awful damage. Um, Nightlight, because you have to concentrate on how you control it, if you want to get any sort of value out of it, I think that puts more effort, more sort of impetus on, on you. Not impetus, more onus on you to get it right. And then you start thinking about it and it takes up too many cycles in your brain and then you're going to have a bad time because you have to... It can save you, you know, if it happens to be pointing in the right direction, it can be really, really good um, by slowing down shots that would otherwise have hit you and then you know, ruining a run, but 15 cents for it doesn't really seem... I spent such a long time talking about it, I feel like I should go back and get it just, you know, just to give it homage for you know, giving me something to talk about for the past goodness knows how long. We did get sin robes for our first deal with the devil, which is really good, and I'm not quite sure what experimental treatment did do for us. Often the thing you really care about there is whether it gave or took HP, but that's not a thing, so... I'd love to be able to do that. So what we're going to do here is maybe find a, some form of invincibility, like a chariot card uh, or an equivalent pill, a power pill. Not that we'd know if we had a power pill, but you know how it is. Uh, or an allergies rune, something like that. Could have used Tammy's head there, but wasn't really thinking about it. Was actually trying to remember the name of anything that gives us invincibility. If we found um, Unicorn Stump, that would be pretty nice. We do have quite a lot of things that can... Uh, I say quite a lot. We have one thing that can do damage even whilst we can't fire. Which is more than none, so it's not valueless. I've learned to not say invaluable when I mean valueless, so that's progress. That's a pretty good room, we're doing really well. To, to grip its body is really good as well, actually. I'm very much a fan of this run. I was coming into this run thinking, oh, this is going to be another one of those everything's a bit meh type of runs, which you can, you can understand, you can kind of expect it. Um... You, you tend to get the meh runs when it's not a special day. I think everyone's going to be in the same boat, but really, doing well against... No, well, not against, but with the the Lost is actually extremely valuable. Because... Where am I going? I'm going over here. Many people... There's so many opportunities to die. It's not like, oh, you just got to get past this boss. You know, it's not like, oh, that's an easy room to die on. Of diamonds. It's 
permanently every single room could have been everybody else's demise, right? So every room that we do puts us a little bit ahead of a few more people. Now I imagine there's a, a large quantity of people who are not dying at all on this room, and that's that's perfectly alright. I mean, that's as expected. You're going to have some people who are actually good at the game uh, and can get through. We're only going to Mom herself, and the only way we can get past Mom is with an AWAS rune or the shovel, because we can't play the self-sacrifice rune, because we don't have any HP. It would literally kill us. Uh, I was expecting that to explode, but it didn't, so that's okay. Careful here. So, it's not it's entirely possible that there is a way down, and maybe we've missed it, but we're not going to get different deals with the devil from anybody else, because we can't take red heart damage. So, it's not like there's going to be a floor where we could have got a deal with the devil that contained the shovel, but we took red heart damage and then everyone else got the shovel and we didn't, right? The only real thing it's going to be is they found the item room and we didn't. Oh, we'll fight the boss now and we'll see if we can be bothered going back. Ten minutes on Caves 2 is pretty fast. Uh, did I get hit? I did not get hit. None of those hit Chubb, but I'm okay with that because clearing these um, silkworms off the screen is quite valuable as well. Oh, fuck! It's okay. It killed Chubb at the same time as hitting us, so I'm happy with that. Small chance at a Krampus fight? Quite a high chance at a Krampus fight. We did just pick up toothpicks, which is um, actually a very good item. Such a fast uh, DPS upgrade. Ooh. Luckily, that was the last hit of the fight, or we would have been in trouble. We've taken more hits. Uh, I don't want to say I've taken more hits than I'm happy with, but earlier on when I was going, we haven't taken any hits at all. Uh, feeling cocky, right? That's all gone. That's all fallen by the wayside now, but. It's to be expected as the run gets on and we have to deal more damage and dodge more smartly. We're more likely to take a hit on our Holy Mantle and that's fine, that's what Holy Mantle is for. I don't really like Retrovision so now it's all confusing and we've also got Curse of the Lost so everything is terrible. Uh, I want to go home. So we can't... We can't worry too much I think is what I'm trying to say. If we're taking hits on Holy Mantle, be glad we've got Holy Mantle or we would be there completely. But as long as we're taking hits on Holy Mountain that don't completely jeopardize the run, like we have been so far, we took a hit against Chubb because of a bad bomb placement, but that was fine, turned out, because the bomb also killed Chubb. We took a hit against uh, Krampus, but that's fine, because why have I not got a charge, by the way? Um, stars, though. Versus Wheel of Fortune? I think we put this down here and blow it up. Uh, it was the last... That was a very lucky guess. <laughs> Thank you for saying so. Uh, it was the last hit of the Grampus fight, so again, we didn't need to worry about it. But So we haven't got to the stage yet where we need to actually worry about the fact that we've used our holy mantle, but it's coming. Common cold is okay. I'm not going to even blow that up. We are on uh, Necropolis 1. So what I'm thinking is what we can do on Necropolis 2, which is the mom fight, we can fight to get to boss rush ASAP, we can do boss rush, which is the only one we have the opportunity to do and therefore we basically must. Then we can use the stars card to get out, which will take us to our item room, but even if we've seen it, we want to get out. Uh, and then finish off the floor and maybe find a way down to the next floor, and if we can't, at least we'll have a bit of exploration bonus. Uh, this is no use to me, but I'll take the Spirit Heart for a couple of extra points. This could be a really good ranking today. Um, I feel like I'm playing correctly. Uh, all my technicals are in the right place. We've got a lot of damage, like everybody else, but don't worry about that, because anybody could have at any point taken a daft hit and lost the run. You know, even the best Isaac players can, uh, uh, like, just accidentally screw up the run. So, oh, Hagrid. That didn't actually kill him, which surprised me. That was supposed to be the coup de grace of the uh, coup de grace. The coup de graces of the, the, the attack there, but somewhat a bit of a damp squib. We have found the shop and the item room, so I'm not too uh, salty, not too, I'm not too averse to going to this boss right now and just uh, be that was excellent poison damage by the way 
Uh, I don't know if you saw what happened. You may have done. Um, yeah, we'll just leave. The, <laughs> the fly had poison damage. I couldn't hit the fly because there was something in the way. But then the fly's poison damage caused the fly to blow up right next to Loki and do a ton of damage to Loki as well, so I'm super pleased with that uh, turn of defense. And we have to make sure that the bomb we place here... Oh, I'll use the thing anyway. I was going to say we have to make sure the bomb we place is within the... Uh, it's not on top... Ah! Oh. Stop talking. You can't play the game when you're talking, so just shut up. Ah, uh, I can't keep quiet for that long. You should know that by now. Kind of tempted to not do this room, actually, but we do need the points for it. So we should do it. I'm not sure about the previous floor, because it's very hard to exploration a floor when you've got Curse of the Lost, right? I think this is an appropriate time to use Tammy's head. And this could be the end of us, because we did just take a hit. And I'm notoriously poor at not being hit by uh, the Dark One here. But, that being said, it's only two bosses at this stage. So that was the last hit of the fl of the room again. So again, that was a bit of a dicey one because it took us a bit longer than I'd like after getting hit to uh, finish it off. But that's fine. Um, I tend to be quite bad at the Dark One, but it shows how much damage we're doing that that fight against the Dark One didn't take very long at all. I mean, I feel like that fight with the Dark One took less time than the fights with the Dark One we had on an earlier run when we got all the way to the Dark Room. And there's like two dark ones and an L-shaped room. I don't actually remember which run it was. Got so much time. Why would we not do just everything? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I spent a coin to go in there, and then I, I have this sort of default of where I go. I'm going to go into this place. He was. He was. Right. So we're going to find the boss fight. Teleport out. Get on. Get our AWOS. We want to get to the boss fight quickly, even though we've got plenty of time. It's a very fast run, actually. I don't know if you're um, thinking the same as me in that respect. But honestly, the amount of time we often spend on these runs, trying to get from A to B, we haven't really failed to properly explore a floor, do you not think? Like, it's not like we've cannoned through any of the floors and gone, right, screw that one. There was a floor where I couldn't be bothered backtracking all that way. But I mean, I, I felt quite justified in having done so. I've not used Tammy's head for ages. Kind of uh, more that I forgot rather than that I shouldn't have been. It just seems like there's a there's a period after you use Tammy's head that you can't fire. Your your tears are arrested. Um, and it seems like that period of not shooting with all the upgrades that we've got is actually worse for us than um, for our energy. Okay. It's actually worse for us than simply continuing to shoot. That was a lot of damage. What I wanted to do there was trying to get as close to Mom's foot as possible, because it doesn't do contact damage, remember? Get as close to the foot as possible, whack it with as many of Tammy's head's shots as we can. We've got poison on that, so that's basically the end of the fight, I think. And it did do a lot of, lot of damage. We'll take this because we're going further. Right, boss rush. 17 minutes, so we're early as can be. Don't forget we can't do... These are all shit. <laughs> we cannot do... Um, hush. Even if we can make it that far with an extra AWAS rune or something. We also have to make it through the boss rush. Now don't, don't let me try and suggest that this is going to be an easy feat. Uh, or a happy feat. <laughs> I did not realise that I'd been hit. And I really, really hate those enemies that pop up underneath you and kill you. So that was 2000th. We really, really had to do boss rush to be able to get a good score. And the fact that there was an AWAS rune means that anybody that didn't die on boss rush went further than us. But I thought we were going to do okay. And I think in terms of time, we did really well considering it's basically the same rank as our score. But that's the danger of a lost run. So that'll be me for today. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me for tomorrow. But until then, ta-ta, take care, see you later, good day.